So in this video presentation, we're going to look at the need for our electricians, in our case our students, mm -hmm. yep. to return the circuit breakers, the neutral bar and earth terminals to the appropriate torque setting. Yep. Joe, where would you normally get that information from? Well, generally speaking, uh, when you buy uh, a new enclosure, you'll be given some instructions like you've got here. Uh, however, what this gives you is for the MCBs, uh, it tells you that the uh, recommended tightening torque is 2.0 newton meters to 2.5 newton meters so we've got a range within there so the question naturally arises well what's the actual setting is it 2 2.1 2.2 what what are we going to go for okay and when we look at the circuit breakers that we've got in our workshop the ones that we've had in there for for a while probably had these for 18 months kicking around in our workshop there is no additional information on the actual circuit break itself no. it's telling us it's a b type it's telling us this prospective short circuit breaking capacity 6000 amps all the general usual information on it it was pointed out to me by one of my learners that when he got out a new circuit breaker just delivered in the last couple of weeks joe it had some additional information on it yep so if we look on here you can see quite clearly that it says above the uh, just below the screw terminal there it says uh, the tightening torque is 2.3 newton meters 2.3 newton meters now don't be confused by the fact that this says 2 comma 3 uh, that's uh, sort of a continental thing where the comma is used as a decimal point but uh, 2.3 newton meters is the setting so We've got to the installation, we've got a circuit breaker out, we perhaps haven't got the manufacturer's instructions. If we've got the manufacturer's yep. instructions, not enough information, may require us to go onto their website, yep. but look at that. The beauty is we've now put the information actually yep. on the side of the circuit breaker and which then we're going to install. So we're gonna cut away now to an actual installation where we're going to put a circuit breaker in and do it to the required 2.3 Newton meters of torque. So we've set up the torque screwdriver a couple of times on camera before, but we're just going to do it again just so that we've got this absolutely clear. We can see in the little window on our torque screwdriver there we've got 2 newton meters as the current setting. We want to get it to 2.3. So we'll just remove the insert, and then what we do is we put in our uh, torque setting tool. So we just insert that into the torque screwdriver, and then we're going to twist this until we get the right value in the window. Now on this particular model of screwdriver, you can see it goes up in degrees of 0.2. So we go from 2.2 .2 to 2.4. We want to be 2.3. So that's going to be midway between those two points. So we've gone past 2.2 .2 to 2.4 and come back again. So that now has a setting of 2.3 Newton meters. And we're ready to use that to set up our MCB to the right tightness. So Joe, we've got the Torx screwdriver set up to 2.3 Newton meters of torque, and you're just gonna pop the star breaker in for me? Uh, yeah, it's the star breaker design, which is obviously uh, just the push fit type connection, so that's really nice. We just hook that over the top of the breaker, top of the buzz bar, and then we just push it in at the bottom. Again, if you're having to absolutely force that home, you've not got that blade lined up correctly, okay? And what we'll do is we'll just pop the uh, terminal uh, open and pop the wire in there, pop the conductor in there and then we'll just tighten this up to the specified torque setting on the screwdriver. So we'll get that up to there and then give that a bit of a twist until it uh, clicks like that. Now we know it's tight and we'll make sure that we've got our tails to the right torque setting as well. The torque go. setting are the terminations for the tails. And so the terminations for the tails are 2.3 Newton meters is what we should be tightening these so up. So exactly the same as the breaker that we've just done. Absolutely, yep. So we've got 2.3 all across the top there, which is really nice. I can see the uh, circuit protective conductor and the neutral conductor are not connected to their bars either. That's correct. So what we'll do is we'll now adjust the torque setting on the torque screwdriver. So I'm going to set that up to one point seven uh, and again we can't actually see 1.7 we've got 1.8 and 1.6 so what we do is just get it between those two and that's now set to 1.7 so we're between uh, those two settings put the driver bit back in and then we'll just pop the cpc back in there okay just hold that in place make sure we're not screwing onto the insulation, we're screwing onto the copper conductor, and then we'll make sure that that's done up tight. So that's now set to the right torque setting. I'll just check that my uh, main earth coming in is also to the right torque setting. So that just needs a little bit more. There we go. 
and I'll put my neutral in as well and again that's 1.7 newton meters on here as well so again just give that the right click there we go now it might be a good idea when you're doing this uh, to perhaps especially where you've got cables that are made up of more than one uh, conductor in there just to give those maybe a little bit of a wiggle a little bit of a wobble so that they settle down because sometimes the conductors can kind of spread out a little bit and if that's happening we want to make sure that we're not loosening the terminal so again if we just tweak the torque setting on our torque screwdriver so you're going back to 2.3 newton meters of torque yeah that's what we're aiming for there we go got that set and now we'll just make sure that we've got this absolutely as tight as it needs to be so that was it slipping into the uh, screwdriver head not the uh, there we go so that's nice and tight now and that's nice and tight as well so we got a little bit further on that that time just by giving those conductors a little wobble so that's now ready to uh, power up once it's been tested and we're good to go okay thanks for that joe so yeah, we no can problem. see the importance can't we of mm. actually returning the terminations to manufacturers torque yeah. settings absolutely because again there's a there's a trend in the industry isn't there they absolutely haul on that until it's tight as tight can be but it is possible to over tighten the terminal which actually can lead to it being a weaker connection rather than a stronger one. And all our learners, both at level one, two, and three, yep. will be using our torque screwdriver mm -hmm. in every consumer unit they install yep. here. Absolutely. And now that Crabtree have put the torque settings on the side of the breaker, yep. it makes it easier for everybody Absolutely. to know the actual torque setting. Yeah, that's great. Shall we end this video? Let's end the video. We, we hope, hope this video has been, been some 